Okay, here's what I got. This is a Chicago electric welding. Flux 125 welder. Uh, 60 to 125 amps AC. Rated output 90 amp AC at 17 volts. 20% duty cycle. Material thickness capacity is 18 gauge to 3 16 inch thick. Uh, welding material, mild low alloy. Not suitable for aluminum or stainless steel. Wire sizes, this thing will handle 0.03 inch or uh, 0.035 inch. And it weighs about 36 pounds. This is a 110 or 120 volt welder. It includes everything. Now, of course, I won't use the face shield that comes with it because I've got a welding helmet. I've got a stick welder. Uh, and I won't be using their wire, most likely. I'll probably use the wire I bought, which was some Lincoln .030 wire. But I'm going to get it out of the box and get it put together. Right off the bat, we got the handle for the top. We got one of those little brush and uh, flux chipping hammers. You know, it's all plastic except for the uh, the brush wires and the tip of the, the hammer. And it's got another. It's got the the bolts, washers, and uh, lock washer for the handle and it has another tip and it's a .03 so I thought it was supposed to come with a .03 and a .035 but it's another .03 here's your smoke lens for the face shield and ooh. Here is the wire that comes with it. Flux core welding wire. I may put it in there. I don't know. I've heard it's not really good. So, that's that. Now we'll see if I can get this thing out of here. Harder than what I thought it was going to be. Let me set it on the ground. Okay, here's your gun, and everybody's told me that you don't need this. This here is for gas. Uh, Lowe sells a kind of a hard plastic nozzle that goes on here. Let's see what tips on here. 0.03, but you know, since this doesn't use gas, Don't need that. So lay that there. Here is your ground clamp, which every review I've seen on the ground clamp, you need to uh, upgrade this. Get a new one, or I've seen one guy's mod, he actually took some uh, copper piping and uh, I think it might have been I don't think it was half inch. It might have been three eighths. Beat it flat, pulled this back, took the bolt, took the cable off, fed the copper through here and under the spring. He drilled a hole in it so it would line up the, the bolt hole here. And 
I believe he drilled a hole here, laid that in there flat, then bent it over and run that bolt through it, and that way you had copper. But for what little stuff I do, it might be fine. And again, it's 110. There's your plug. You have your wire speed here, 0 to 10. You got your on off button. You got minimum, maximum setting. And then you got your uh, overheat light that comes on. Got a little push button here to push. Open up the top. That's where your spool goes. Here's your uh, uh, cable feed. Got a little chart here in the lid. Tells you 18 gauge, 16 gauge, 14 gauge, 1 8 inch, 3 16 the settings, and the speed for 0 0.030 and the speed for 0 0.035. So I'm going to get the handle put on it, and I may put that spool on here and get it fed, fed through. So uh, let me get things ready for that. Okay, I'm going to try to attempt to put this wire on. Now everything that I have read about putting this wire on is make sure you don't let this thing unspool. Now, the problem I already have is I don't have a cutter out here to cut the wire. But the wire will go in right there and feed into the spool undo your uh, knob for your wire feed and you also need to check this welder comes with this little track here it's got little teeth inside this side says 0 0.030 this side says 0 0.035 so we're going to do the 030 put that back in there So what I need to do, I don't know if I can do this or not. That says to plug it up and run the wire through. That's all we're going to do. No weld. I think I can feel it. 
Okay. So, I think There it comes. Okay, there we go. Now I'll just take a pair of snips and cut it off right about there, leaving about oh, maybe three eighths to a half inch out. I think everything here is set up pretty good. Uh, tension should be good on that. I don't know how tight you're supposed to make that. But. So everything's up and running. But that's the, the welder. Shut this back up. Got a carrying handle. So, I mean, not bad. Uh, for what I'm going to use it for, that'd be great. Remove tip before feeding new wire through. I didn't remove the tip. Should have. Uh, and that's connect to your workpiece. But uh, it's running. Whether it'll do a weld or not, we'll have to wait and see. I might go get a cutter and fix the face shield just to do a little test, just to see if it's going to work. So we'll see what happens. Okay, there's a piece of metal. I'm going to turn this thing on. Uh, the one thing that's missing is they forgot to include the handle for the face shield. So I'm going to have to hold this. I've got a welding helmet, but I just want to test this out. It's an old rusty piece of metal. Got the ground clamp on there. Hopefully it's got a good ground. I've cut off the tip like I was supposed to. And you can see right now I need to change some configurations here or something. And I'm going to see if I can do a weld. Well, I can tell I'm not a good welder. I was on the rusty part. Let me try this again. Okay, like I said, that was clamped onto some rust. So I don't know how good of a contact it made. I got the power cord here. Okay, there we go. But I just want to see what it looks like. I'll get my glasses on and take a look. I got good penetration, you can see right through here. And this is 16 gauge. Well, with flux core welder, you're gonna get these little splatters on here. But I think I'll be able to do this with clean metal. Uh, like I said, it heated up. In fact, there's a little burn mark on the on the table. So uh, yeah, it's working. 
I just I'm not that best of a welder. It's going to take some practice. That might be what this little piece of metal becomes is a piece of practice, and uh, see what goes from there. So, uh, like I said, this is the Chicago Electric uh, 125 amp flux welder that I just got to use to uh, build these camera boxes with. But I wanted to show it to you. This is what I will be using to put those boxes together instead of trying to use the uh, arc welder that I used when I made uh, Jared's uh, eight-man camera box. So stay tuned, and as we're fond of saying, we'll see you in the woods.